Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're still going to convert a fraction to a decimal, but in this case the denominator was not a 10, a 100, or a 1000, or something like that, a 1 with a bunch of zeros. We have a different number at the, in the denominator, but in every one of these cases, the denominator easily fits into either a 10, a 100, or a 1000, and so forth. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to take our fraction and change it into a fraction with a denominator that's equal to 10, 100, or 1,000. In other words, case 2 type, you convert the denominator to a 10, a 100, to 1,000, and then use the technique we learned in the previous video. Here you can see that 5 fits evenly into 10. 2 times 5 is 10. What we're going to do then is we're going to multiply the denominator times 10, and therefore uh, times 2, not times 10, we're trying to make it into a 10, we're going to multiply it times 2, and I'm looking for my red pen here. So multiply the denominator times 2, that becomes a 10. But of course, we also must multiply the numerator times 2 to keep everything the same. This then becomes 8 divided by 10. And now we have it just like we did in the previous video. We then realize that we have to move over the decimal place over 1. We move the decimal place over 1, and this then becomes 0.8. On this example, we realize that 25 fits evenly into 100. What we need to do is multiply the denominator times 4 to make that 100, which means we must, we must multiply the numerator times 4 as well. So let me show you that here with a different color. Multiply the denominator times 4, multiply the numerator times 4, and the numerator then becomes 4 times 7 is 28, and 4 times 25 is 100. Then we realize we have to move over the decimal place over two spots, and this then becomes 0.28 divided by 1, which is equal to 0.28. On this one, well, you would like to turn the 4 into a 10, but you can't because the 4 does not evenly fit into 10, but it does fit evenly into 100, which means we have to multiply the denominator and the numerator times the same number, in this case, 4 times 25 becomes 100, and then we have to multiply the numerator by 25 as well. Since 4 times 25 is 100, we now have a fraction with 100 in the denominator, 75 in the numerator. We need to move the decimal place over two spots. This then becomes 0.75 over 1, or 0.75. Again, the technique is to first convert it to a, to a denominator, convert the fraction to a denominator, either being a 10, 100, or 1,000, and then we can find the proper conversion to the decimal. 125, well, that fits evenly into a 1,000 eight times. That means we can change this fraction by multiplying both the denominator and the numerator by 125. So, one to, oh, not, not 125, times eight. Multiply the denominator times 8, multiply the numerator times 8. The denominator then becomes 1,000. The numerator then becomes 72. Then to turn into a decimal, we then move, then we realize that we have to move the decimal place three times in the denominator to turn into 1. We need to do the same for the numerator, three spots. And so this becomes 0 0.072 divided by 1, or 0 0.072 which means that 9 over 125 is the same as 0 0.072. Finally, this one here, now that you know the technique, here you can see that 20 fits evenly into 100. It fits into 100 exactly 5 times, which means we're going to multiply the denominator times 5, and then we must multiply the numerator times 5 as well. Here, using a different color, so you can see it. And then the numerator becomes 65, and the denominator becomes 100. Again, you'll have to move the decimal place over twice in the denominator to make them to 1, which means you need to move the decimal place over twice in the numerator, and this becomes 0 0.65 over 1, which is 0 0.65. And that's how we convert a fraction to a decimal in the case where we can take the denominator and make it into a 10, a 100, or a 1000, or something like that. The next case will be where we cannot do that and we need to find again a different technique to convert a fraction to a decimal. So stay tuned if you want to see how we do it that way.